Continental Weavers is the world's largest manufacturer of area rugs, offering the most expansive assortment of power loomed and printed rugs available today. With production facilities in the United States, Egypt, China, and India, the company is known around the globe for its fashion-forward designs and cutting-edge technology. Oriental Weavers has delivered products synonymous with high fashion, quality, and value for more than 40 years. In addition to its unparalleled production capacity, Oriental Weavers is also a vertically integrated company, controlling production from start to finish. From raw materials to polypropylene pellet production, fiber extrusion, weaving to finishing, the company continues to invest in its domestic manufacturing capacity and is proud to say that 40% of its products sold in the USA are made in the USA. The increasing mix of our assortment produced domestically provides retail partners with shorter lead times, but most importantly, it creates more American jobs. Now let's take a look inside Oriental Weaver's Dalton, Georgia facilities in the process of how an area rug is made. The entire process begins with Oriental Weaver's award-winning product development team's research of design and color. From tracking global patterns and color trends to working closely with customers' design teams, they pull inspiration from many different resources to create products that will perform well in the marketplace. They're constantly working with manufacturing to develop unique yarn systems and weaving processes to offer exciting and innovative new products to their customers. Once a product direction or construction is determined, colors are selected and designers go to work creating new patterns on screen that will go directly to the loom to be woven. As pattern work is in progress, the design team continues to work closely with Master Batch to perfect color matching on new collections. The Master Batch Lab is where the process of making Oriental Weavers durable and inherently stain-resistant yarn begins. From polypropylene or nylon pigments and the right recipe of colors, small batches of monocolor pellets are melted down, extruded into yarn, and checked for color accuracy. Once the desired color match is reached, Using the color spectrophotometer, the recipe is then sent to the mass production twin screw extruder. This process takes the different monocolor polypropylene or nylon pellets and melts them down to a semi-liquefied state. They are then pressed through the multi-hole dye head into a cold water bath which transforms the melts into solid, continuous spaghetti strings. Next, the strings then move to the cutter that breaks the strings down to pellet form, are sorted out using the shaker, and finally, for a consistent and uniform size pellet, go into the rotary mixer while adding a non-static material to avoid static charges. Random samples are taken from the production lines and evaluated in the quality control lab to ensure color consistency. The extrusion department receives the newly colored pellets from the master batch department and melts them down once again with a combination of polypropylene or nylon resin. With a calculated amount of heat, speed, and pressure, the polypropylene or nylon is spun into continuous filaments of a specified thickness, which is also called the denier. Starting from the spinnerets, the filament is air-cooled and a spin-finish oil is added for anti-static and friction reduction, which also creates a softer yarn to the touch. The yarn then goes through the stretch and strength phase, through multi-zone heated godet rollers with different speeds, adding bulkiness through the texturizing box, adding tangle to the filaments through the entanglement box, and finally goes to the winder to load the new yarn onto cones. After extrusion, the yarn goes through a series of quality checks for proper thickness, texturization, and elasticity. Once the yarn passes the extrusion quality control inspection, it is taken to the twisting department. Depending on desired texture, density, and definition, the yarn is given a single-ply or two-ply twist. The twist per inch, or TPI, is the main factor in determining the end twisted product.
The heat set process takes place directly after twisting. At this point, the yarn runs through a closed, steam-pressurized tunnel to prevent any unraveling of the twist. This process also makes the yarn durable, helps to hold its form, and increases the resiliency of the yarn. At the end of the heat set process, the yarn is then rewound onto cones and is ready to go to the looms. Some products undergo an additional step called space dyeing. This dyeing technique allows nylon or Oriental Weaver's patented nylon polypropylene blended yarns to be dyed with up to six different color shades, plus the base shade. This process creates a multicolor or multi-shade effect on the same yarn. This process ultimately gives the yarn a varying textured color to what would otherwise be a solid flat color. The creel is the large rack structure that holds all the spools of yarn that eventually feed to the needles of the loom. Depending on the amount of colors the rug was designed to feature, those colors are loaded onto the creel's framework. Creelers work hard to keep the yarn feeding endlessly and evenly without tangling. Combined, over 25,000 spools can be on the loom creel at one time, and it takes about three to five days to change an entire creel out. The final step before the actual weaving process begins is called warping. Warping is the step where the backing for the rugs is created. The weaving of a rug takes warp yarn running vertically and weft yarns running horizontally to produce the mesh-like backing in which the pile is woven into once on the loom. Oriental Weaver's backing, or warp, is normally polypropylene or cotton, while the weft is jute. With its unsurpassed machinery and loom capacities, Oriental Weaver's easily bypasses its competition, with more than twice as many looms as any of its competitors. In fact, the company has enough capacity to produce more than 1.4 billion square feet of rugs each year which equates to nearly 50 square miles and would cover the entire Manhattan Island two times. In rug terms, the company could produce over 35 million 5x8 rugs each year. This enormous capacity yields superior stocking abilities and top-notch delivery and service for its customers. In addition, Oriental Weavers is the only company in the rug business that manufactures in the USA with mirror factories overseas that allow the company to leverage lower cost production overseas while ensuring timely deliveries with domestic manufacturing when there are unforeseen spikes in demand. The majority of machine woven rugs are woven on what is called a Wilton loom and is seen operating here. Wilton looms utilize a face-to-face -face weaving technique where two rugs are woven as one piece simultaneously. After the needles insert the yarn in the single woven piece, a high-speed knife, called a lancet, cuts down the middle at the specified pile height and creates two mirrored rugs of the same size and color. The rugs come off the loom as two continuous rolls and are taken to the next phase of the manufacturing process. The first step is called coating. The rolls are placed on a conveyor which moves the rolls through a special chamber that applies steam to the face yarn and latex to the backing of the rugs. Like glue, the latex improves the bond of the woven fibers to the backing for added product durability. After the latex is applied, the rugs pass through the oven at a temperature of more than 260 degrees to dry the latex. The rugs are then sent through a three-step shearing process for a consistent pile height. cut side by side and sent to the finishing department for serging, labeling, and packaging. At this point, you have seen that throughout the manufacturing process, there are several areas where the excess yarn is cut off the sides of the large rolls after coating and shearing. 
or when removing the remaining yarns from a creel when changing qualities on the looms. Oriental Weavers is committed to reducing waste and its carbon footprint and has now engineered a new process to recycle that excess yarn to use in future production runs. The yarn is cut to consistent sizes, melted down in the densifier and extruded in high heat. It is then run through the water bath, cut down to pellet form, and sent to master batch to start the process of being made back into yarn for rugs. While much of the production process has been mechanical thus far, the final finishing of each rug requires handiwork and a dedication to quality. The finishing department is where the rugs are surged or finished on the long sides. Then cut down to individual rugs and surged on the short ends with special attention to the corners where surging meets and then proper back labels are applied. The rugs are then either rolled face out with a POP applied for in-store displays and run through the shrink wrap tunnel or are rolled face in and bagged for inventory. Once rugs are packaged, they are transported to one of three distribution centers. With over 650,000 square feet of warehousing in Dalton, Georgia, Oriental Weavers offers a wide selection of award-winning rug designs, known far and wide in the marketplace for their unique coloration, texture, and style. Showcasing the latest in global trends and popular fashion, with over 1,500 available designs and more than 10,000 total size options, Oriental Weavers gives consumers the creative freedom to express individuality and make each living space uniquely their own. For more information on Oriental Weavers product assortment, please visit www.owrugs.com.